This application might just be one of the most important applications you download while having a PC. It saved me and some customers of mine in the past while checking your temperatures. You never know if your PC is having issues, it might be overheating, who knows, but this software is absolutely the best. So let's go into it, how to download HW Monitor and how to use it. Step number one, go to the internet and type in HW Monitor, all one word. Go ahead and click the first link by CPU ID and then go ahead and click Setup English 32 and 64 bit version. Click that little X and download now. Should download instantly, it's a very small file. Go ahead and open it up, click yes, next, 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 install. And I usually unselect the readme file unless you wanna be prompted to read and click finish. All right, after you install it, it should be on your desktop. Go ahead and double click it and hit yes. Perfect, and it pops up. There's a bunch of different things. If this is your first time using this, don't get scared. I know there's a lot of different temperatures, different megahertz, there's everything is on here, voltages. So let me kind of explain a couple different things and some key things to check and keep an eye on. So a lot of the different information here, you're probably not gonna use. The most important one that I use and that you probably will use too is package. Package just means your CPU. It checks your CPU temperature. Right now, you can see I'm running at idle 43 and a half degrees Celsius. Uh, this is a 7800X 3D, so it's um, also being cooled by a Corsair H150i LCD. Uh, whether that is a high or low idle temperature, I think it's okay. It could be a little bit cooler, um, but I mean, it is the Corsair H150, so it should be doing its job. The next couple of things that you want to make sure are your CPU cores. You'll have all the different cores here and they're different megahertz. If your CPU temperature is hot, it's hitting 90 degrees Celsius and you see your megahertz dropping, that means you're thermal throttling your CPU and you're not getting the best performance out of it. If you suspect that your cooler is overheating, use this app. It's going to tell you the different temperatures. If your CPU is hitting anywhere from 95, 100 degrees, that's overheating and you definitely want to do something about it. Check your cooler. Maybe it's overheating because of that or you need to reapply thermal paste. It could be a bunch of different things. This app does a great job checking your temperatures. It also monitors so many more things. Give it a try. It's easy to download. It's free and go ahead and use it. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. If you guys use this application yourself or if you learned something new today, also make sure to drop a like for us and hit that subscribe button. Until next video, peace.